Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as Great Britain in Hearts of Iron 4. Got a pretty good number of troops here. How many are there? I can't tell. Is there a way to see how many are... No, we have no insufficient intel. There's a lot! I can see. I can actually count them. And we are killing them. They are very low on organization. It's just a, a matter of days till they all, all perish. Dead Germans! Now don't get me wrong, they won the World Cup and they were really good. But, dead Germans! And this is also going to give us a huge boost to the number of troops that we can reinforce along our border here. Now that we've captured that. Excellent. Okay, so. Alright. Um, yep, let's just let them spread out. We're fully entrenched in a number of positions, which is bad for him. I really don't think this one division is going to hold out. Oh yay! One division has arrived. Two hundred eighty-four defense. You have really low soft attack. What happened there? Oh, you're you're this this crappy district force. What the hell is a district force? What does that even mean? You're from the Netherlands. It's just six infantry. They don't even have any artillery with them. No, well, you can't hold the line. Just back off. We need some good old-fashioned British troops. Or, you know, if the Americans want to show up sometime this century, that'd be great. We, I'd take that. Looks like Germany's trying to attack from every direction right now. He's losing in almost every area. We should deploy some airplanes. Um... I don't have any manpower, never mind. Resistance is pretty high. 87% up there now. These calves just can't handle it all. Divisions in state. Resistance daily growth, 1%. So, it's just still not enough divisions. We need to design our own cav template. Uh, cavalry brigade. With the... We don't have it. I don't have the manpower for this. Damn it. They're sabotaging all the equipment. Okay, German Reich is at 48%, so we're halfway there. My understanding is that the victory points that you need are the ones that, uh... Like, we need to expand into Czechoslovakia, because that would be, I think, considered part of his core territories. I don't really know... How, what, like, which provinces are necessary. I know that the core territories, like, the, the, the initial territories, are definitely worth more... ...than distant provinces. And he's got nothing here. He's actually, he's... He's gonna let me move into the hills, in the mountains, take up defensive position. That's fine with me. We actually, according to this, he actually thinks that he might be able to win the plan. Some divisions do not prepare in, in... There's a large river crossing. Inferior enemy. He thinks that he can win. Just straight up win. On a push. To there. Wow. That's, that's rather impressive. It's rather... Presumptuous, I think. I don't think you can do that. I don't believe you. 
And what's this Czechoslovakia controls this location crap, huh? Okay, recon company got upgraded. Engineering company we definitely need. These four can press forward. You two can come in from another angle. Look at this troop streaming in. All we need now is some more- we do need some more cav. Why are you attacking? I didn't tell you to attack. Stay behind the river. If anything, I want half these troops- If you're gonna cross the river, cross the river where we already control the territory. Don't be a dummy. Hmm. Looks like the Polish have extended their battle plan to include most of this. Which is why we can see the Polish troops lining up on our border over here. They're helping out a little bit with the uh, the defense. Osnan's unoccupied, so we might as well press forward and take that. I'm telling you, Germany, if you're just going to give me provinces, I'll take them. Sure, South Africa. Let's see what you got. What kind of troops can you offer me? This will be this will be interesting. All right, we've got to have some more medium tanks by now. We do good. Okay. Let's grab some more troops. I'm gonna need you down here. We're gonna try to go over here. We're gonna try to come from behind them. Break through this line. And then head this way. Hopefully the gaps will get filled in. You're fully entrenched, so I can see why the AI is not wanting to move that unit. It probably rebased another unit that it didn't get doesn't have an entrenchment bonus. Now if we're gonna do this though, we can't leave we can't take all of them because then they could just get cut off. We need to wait for troops to arrive. There's the rebased man. What's that, Luxembourg motorized infantry? It's gonna be pretty quick. Gonna be really low on organization, but they are on the defensive. And let's press in here. That will isolate all of you dudes and you're all gonna die. However many there are, I don't know. But you're all gonna die. Just so you know.
he was able to retreat to the left. There's a tank in there. These four are just gonna keep on marching through. Let's see if we can come in from another angle. Get attack from multiple directions, increase combat width. Can we do that? Is that happening? Now we should be winning that fight just just fine. Our front line's extended a little bit. <laughs> Soviet unions have just declared war on Poland. Great, so that actually, I think... Hold on. Soviet Union declared war on Poland. Poland is an ally, part of the Allies. So that means that we are at war with this, the Soviet Union. That's not right! You're supposed to declare war on Germany! You dirt, dirt, stupid bastards! Call to arms request from Poland. Nah. <laughs> How great is that, that you can just say, Nah. I don't really want to do Nah. Nah. Why, why would we help you? It's good to beat the Germans. I'll tell you that much. It's just a horse, so let's go kill it. Get nice and entrenched here. Poland is pushing back hard here. I mean, he's gonna keep on trying to call me to arms. You know he will. The only things that he's got against the plan right now is just some divisions are not in position and the division is still preparing. But beyond that, we've got... Most of the troops actually have pretty good preparation bonuses. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna let the AI try. Let's see what they do. And I've got them set to be aggressively executing this battle plan. So we've given up all of our, for the most part, all of our entrenchment bonuses. But, um... He thinks he can win! And at this point, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm inclined to believe that he's got 64 brigades. He's pressing hard, he's pressing fast. Trying to put the moves on him. Like Jagger. What? <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, Netherlands exists again. That's cool. I guess. I'd rather have the land for myself. Matilda should definitely... I keep calling them Matilda, but that's not what it's called. What are, what are these tanks called again? Crusaders. These Crusaders should definitely be involved in every combat possible. Can we cross this straight? Yes, we can.
Man, they're, they're even, like, pressing farther than I told them to, I think. Like, they're really aggressive. We seem to be winning on every front, so yeah. He's right. He, he knows what he's doing. For the most part. How does that affect Germany's... Eh, not much. Now we get to fight Italy, too. Great. Free military factories. Good stuff. What do we need more of? We actually have another 150-some medium tanks. Cannot change the template of expeditionary forces, so let's do these two. We we still need lots of motorized like I want the new fighter. The Supermarine Spitfire, but we can't start those for 18 days. Let's just keep on working on the production of the medium tank. I want more. It says we have free military factories, but there's lots of damaged ones too. So having one huge big front like this is probably the wrong way to do it. We should have... At this point, we should start... Putting together spearhead type thing, you know, like motorized infantry that can do stuff for us. Look at that. This division can pierce, and you can't pierce. Your panzers suck versus my crusaders. How do you like me now, huh? Let's take back Antwerpen. Engage it again. Doing a good job, pressing up to the line. Lacking resources. Unsurprising. One more division from Canada. You can modify government. I think I know what we're gonna do. Uh, extensive conscription. Everyone needs to... Oh! A million people! Suddenly a million Brits! <laughs> we're just forced to enlist. Yes! Enlist you shall! And it says no divisions in basic training now. It's like, hey, you should be training more troops. Well, thank God. We have manpower. You know what we need more of is, uh... Infantry divisions. Like, okay, how many of these can we train? We've got, uh... Oh, motorized are actually used in the, uh... Infantry 2.0. They must be part of the... One of the support companies or something. Yeah, uh, support equipment. Motorized. It's part of the field hospital. Just make one for now. Maybe two runs. I mean, our manpower is going to quickly fill in. Look at this. Free manpower, 918,000. But, needed to reinforce. Reinforcement requests, 239,000 of 345,000 manpower. So it's not like we have the manpower available. Can we hold this province? I'm not sure that we can. Unfortunately, people are getting relocated everywhere. 
try to make this happen. Hey, this is Crusader. Oh, it's such a beautiful thing when, when you can pierce them and they can't pierce you. Medium tanks. Pretty good stuff. When your infantry are just straight up better. I keep telling you to attack that province. I don't know why you keep attacking this guy. We have better soft attack, better breakthrough versus their defense, better heart attack. Everything about this is just better. We only have 21 support planes. Those are supposed to be from Poland because I'm not really using any close air support. And yeah, he's right. He was right. He's pushing right up to that line. Except we got two divisions that got trapped. Damn Italians. I wonder what the war casualty count looks like. A million German casualties. Italy's only lost 400,000. We've lost... 300,000. Everyone needs to contribute to this fight to save these people. We leave no man behind. Except for the French. <laughs> Let's take back Prague if we can. I guess you guys are probably pretty instrumental in winning this fight. That's why you were... Doing these support attacks. They do- the AI, AI does a lot of support attacks, I've noticed. And I forget how you instigate those. I think you have to like shift right click on a battle in progress. Alright, do we want to extend this line? Actually, I think we want to retract this line. Let them take care of their side. That's the Polish front, not my front. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take a break here. Uh, things are looking good. Germany is close to capitulation, actually. They are 66%. If it, it controls 40% of victory points and will capitulate when it has 10%. So we're getting really close. All right, I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you soon.